The Barossa, the Hunter Valley, Margaret River, the Granite Belt? Well, meet the Puglisis, a Stanthorpe family placing the Granite Belts on Australia's wine region map. It feels fantastic to be able to look at my vineyard, drive up and down the rows every day and say, well, I achieved something. The feather in the cap is that we're now a recognised wine growing region in Australia. Hi, we're the Puglisids and this is our family heirloom. In the Granite Belt region sits Ballandine Estate. It's Queensland's oldest family run winery and at the helm is Angelo Puglisi. A bit wobbly but I'm still here. Prune roses so that you can get better blossoms. You prune fruit trees and grapevines so that you get better fruit. It's been our life since we were married and obviously since he was born. He's lived here all his life. Well, my grandfather, he came to Australia the first time in 1911, came back in 1920 and uh, stayed a few years up North Queensland in the sugarcane industry. And then in 1929, he and my mum, they worked on the property next door. This block of land was available for purchase and they purchased it and uh, we're still here. In those days, the wine industry didn't exist as such, and so there was grapes and there was fruit trees, there was plums, peaches, apricots, that sort of thing, but the grapes were table grapes. And because they were Italian, they knew about wine. And wine can be made from any type of grapes. It doesn't have to be wine grapes. So by 1931, they were producing wine. Small amounts, of course, just enough for the family, but then started to expand by sending it out to the or the Italian or the European people who were up in the sugar cane. That's a good photo. I know. The original block of Shiraz. I dreamt of changing the attitude towards wine in, in this area anyhow. It had already started in other regions, but I got laughed at. You never make a living out of making wine. How can you make wine in this area where we grow stone fruit? And I thought, no. Other areas do exactly the same thing, but they also have wine. And I set out to do that, and I think I achieved something that I'm proud of. That's a good I photo. Love that one. Yeah. Plunging the grape skin in the old fermenting tank. Look how cute they are. 1974, I would have been five. We started young. <laughs> we did start young. <laughs> We are the fourth generation in the family business. Uh, Leanne's son works with us now, he's the fifth generation. And I think that there's just a lot of pride in, in talking about you know the ancestors and what they did. And we didn't know them, but we know them because we talk about them all the time. And she went to school, went to school here at Ballandines. Met my grandfather, who I always joke was a backpacker. Yeah. Well, they got married and had three kids. Dad, I live. Enjoy. Thank you very much. Happy birthday. And over the last 20 or 30 years, as a region, we've decided to put a lot of effort into growing rare grape varieties. So if a variety is less than 1% of the national crush and also grown and made on the granite belt, we call it a strange bird. Mum and Dad, over the years, have always tried to make wines that suit many palates. Oh, that's nice too. That's smooth. That's been part of what we've aimed at, be modern, but also have some of the history involved in the whole business. And then, of course, where the big beautiful barrels are in the wine lounge, that's our fortified wines, and uh, Dad started making those a very long time ago. The pleasure of the whole thing was that the two girls and the son-in-laws were here involved, but our grandkids. <laughs> we've reached our level. The kids or the family will bring it to another level and hopefully just keeps moving along. Yummy. That's the thrill of it all for me. The family is together. That's the main thing. Cheers. If you'd like to experience the history of the Ballandine Estate and taste the wines for yourself, make sure to include them on your next trip to the Southern Downs. You haven't changed a bit, Dad. No. no Sideburns. Always was a spunk and still am. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>